welcome back to the vlog but honestly this is going to be more of a podcast we're going to shoot this long form i'm probably not going to do much editing to this we're just going to let it flow and see what happens i got my brother the barber here with me and uh figure we'll just hit on some topics and whatnot so uh eric's drove here two days ago from huntington beach right yeah huntington beach area yeah, yeah huntington beach <laughs> and as you guys all know that's that's where my parents are possibly going to be moving to uh and it's because of this guy it's because he's literally looking at apartments for him and everything so uh yeah freaking what why are you still there why yeah work work mainly but i ain't gonna leave even if the work stopped so e even if you left where you're working you'd still try to live in huntington beach area i think so yeah i think yeah like the orange county area for sure really right? it's just better it's better all around tell me one thing up here that you think that you have and i'll tell you why it's better in orange county that i think Ooh, that I'm we gonna have make so many people mad if you're gonna post this norcal versus SoCal type stuff i mean I, I can't even say it's things that we have because it's just like everything is there. like every every it, the, in California no matter where you go if it's a big city everybody's got everything that everybody else has right and I'm not talking about LA LA is trash I go there for work LA is trash well is you have to figure like LA is our San Francisco it's it's trash yeah no offense and, but... yeah no offense but I mean we're just being honest like homeless population for both those areas is just ridiculous right and um yeah i mean huntington beach is kind of like our santa cruz you know but mm, you santa guys cruz you guys cool. got like way way better beaches okay I, I i do know that santa cruz is like especially after the storm up here they started cleaning things up more but i mean when i went down there what was it not this Thanksgiving, but last Thanksgiving, like there were tractors cleaning the beaches. It yeah, was they super. Sift, they sift the sand for just for fun, you know. Yeah, it's super nice down there. I think, uh, <laughs> I think just in general, right? Like, I mean, if you're gonna if you're gonna pay if you're gonna pay twenty six, twenty seven hundred dollars for a one bedroom apartment in the Bay Area or in San Jose, wherever you're watching, right? If you're in the Bay Area local you're gonna probably pay twenty six twenty seven hundred dollars for a one bedroom apartment that's probably gonna be semi nice right yeah you're, there's nothing super local to you there's no there's no beach that's super local you say santa cruz is local an hour drive because people don't know how to drive is not local well you i mean you, you could get if it's that 100 going. degrees here hold on if yeah. it's 100 degrees here it's about 72 in santa cruz on its best day yeah i mean like last summer though like it, it was it was matching like i mean you well, once sure you there's, yeah there's yeah where it matches like I'm gonna you speak from my yeah from your point from and my, my uh every time we would go to the beach yeah like, plenty of pictures of 102 in san jose when we lived here and me and andrew would go to the beach and it's fucking like 75 yeah, and cloudy. That, I, that's per and see this is why i much rather prefer to live in santa cruz it's always cold up there and yeah, I, it depends on the person, you know what I mean? Because some people, I mean, they don't, you know. And, and like, I understand. I'm a beach person. Yeah, I, I am too. And it's like, I prefer a colder beach. But then it's like, if I, like, start going up more towards Oregon, Washington. It's rocky. It's rocky beach. And I'm just like, I still want sand. And so yeah. it's like, I feel like if I go too far south, it's just like. Uh, it's hot. Yeah, it just gets too hot Warm. for me. And I, I don't like like anything over 80 like even if it's at the beach i'm just like okay i need to constantly like be in the water now which is, which is what you love you know what i mean like, yeah i mean dude there's there's days where when in summertime even like not even summertime fully where dude like me and jordan would be in the water for yeah i'm not I'm, i remember you sending me snapchats i'm getting all jealous <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, it's 5 p.m. and you're still in the water, you know? Like, it's, yeah. It's just nice. Yeah, I, re but, I remember seeing Snapchats and everything. I'm just like, damn, I wish I was there right now. 
and that's and that's the other thing he's trying to sell me to like go live my van life down there right because it's there's like more there's more content creators down there there's more van life people down there because you can pay at the at the state beaches or at the state park beaches or whatever it is and you pay for a yearly thing it's like 150 bucks and you could go park there overnight and you're literally waking up every morning right back at the doors beach. opening to the sand beach yeah. people jogging people having a good time you know what i mean people exercising doing what they're gonna do instead in santa cruz you open it up and I mean, it's it's not that nice over Yo there. Yoga, yoga classes. So yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? Like it's it just. I've literally woken up and like people were doing yoga right in front of my car. I was like, what is happening here? I, yeah, like, I okay. think I don't know. I mean, if we're talking about just beaches, like. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. It's like your beaches definitely have us beat. Like yeah, they're, they're, like for for yeah. per area because it's just like on top of that, like how far out your guys' sand like goes back is ridiculous like i know some of our beaches up here like are decent but like even then like i don't know it's it's two different styles you know yeah it's, it's, two, yeah, it's, it's two, different, two different you know? styles but i think also overall right like if you're talking about like content creation and this and that i feel like there's more things to do in southern well, california because so, it's so bigger and this so bigger that's it's true too because it's just like like up here i have the friends that i've been doing stuff with of right course, and yeah. and i got dana you know ef god freaking you know whatever and then it's just like like down there there's actually more element people which you know i got element 44 down there miguel like like all those guys like live down there and it's like well if i just go it's just bigger it's just there's go more get a part-time job there i could still content create and whatever instead of having my part-time job here it's just it's just you know the thing is also is it's just bigger you know what i mean like up here up here in san jose whether you're over here think like your closest snow location is probably about like three hours away on a good day with no traffic that's yeah. like tahoe type areas you know what i mean you could go somewhere else maybe two hours two and a half hours but if you got goobers on the road and there's, it's and there's goobers i mean dude last time when we went to tahoe me and angie Dude, it took us like five hours to get there because there's really? goobers on the road. You know? Damn. They don't know how to pull the chains. They don't know how to yeah. that, you know what I mean? So, yeah. they, you know what I mean? You could, go, you could go an hour and a half with traffic from Orange County all the way up to Big Bear, and you're in snow. You're in literally thick fucking snow, you know what I mean? Like, that does sound nice. <laughs> you know, like, when you go to Big Bear every, every winter. Everything is a dollar. Yeah. Everything. One dollar. Oh, I don't think we we showed oh, you yeah, guys, but the the yard sale part two is happening right now. So everything one dollar, one dollar, one dollar. There you go. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, definitely like, more content could be filmed out there for sure. Like I'm I'm not arguing that because it's like what I'm currently doing here is just like. It's just mid, like I, I, I don't know. I haven't really been doing much because it's like I'm either working or I don't have enough, enough moolah to fucking carry on to do what I want to do. And then when I do go to the beach, I'm just literally vibing out at the beach. And now it's like winter time, so it's like the, yeah, the beach. We we went to the beach the other day, and we hung out at the beach all day, and we had lunch, and then we went and grabbed dinner later. You know what I mean? And we, See that that's the one thing. Like, cause guess what? It was sunny there from fucking. From 11 a.m. Yeah, 10 a.m. And, all and the way till about 4 p.m. till it got, you know, started to get dark. That's crazy. Though. Yeah, because it's just like, it, it just gets so freaking windy at ours, and it's just, it's just not enough. Which and you're is talking crazy. about just the beach. I'm not I know. I'm, just, yeah, I can't. Yeah. I can't get off the beach because it's like something that I care so much about. But, yeah, me too. You know, but yeah, I mean, just like even thinking about just like being able to freely go to the snow though, like to the mountains quickly, like. Like, damn, that sounds so nice. You're, cause it's just like, we're, from where you're at, like beach is 15 minutes. And then you're saying snow is another, I would say is is a I Santa said, Cruz trip. Like I said, hour and a half with traffic. When I, when we drove it, there was people, pull, there was snow. So I had to drive the four by four truck. Yeah. But there was literally people pulled over on the side of the road because they couldn't, you know what I mean? Cause they couldn't get their stuff going. I didn't talk to help. Right, we yeah. Busy, you know what I mean? But. Yeah, you know, yeah, we're driving, but I mean, like, there was snow on the road. People were pulled over. People, some people couldn't make it, you know, because 
of how much snow there was, you know. But even with that type of traffic, that type of traffic out here going to Tahoe, you're never gonna get there, you know what I mean? It's yeah. Forever. True, true. Man. I don't know. Just all around is just there's so much more space, you know what I mean? Like there's but oh, you got Vegas four hours away, like you know yeah, I mean? and like, that's that's the other thing too. Like Joshua Tree's like not too far away. You could go down to like, San Diego for the weekend. I mean, dude, San Diego, you know, it's, it's gorgeous, right? Yeah. Like, come on, if you could go anywhere, I mean, go, go do that shit down in San Diego. God, dude. But you know, if you don't like the sand and sunshine and. <laughs> sand and sunshine what and... i feel like the, you know when people talk about california yeah they're, unfortunately they're definitely not talking about the bay area no no, no. they're talking about socal right because, yeah and then let me tell you like born and raised in the bay area never thought i'd leave never thought there was anywhere better and, than the bay area and it's funny because that, that's that's where i'm at too i'm like ride or die bay baby i'm ride like, or die bay area man there's yeah. nothing there's nothing better they ain't got it better than i didn't care what somebody from socal said yeah, and it's and, I, and it's like just living in like the city is just it's so nice and every every time i've gone down to visit and like hang out with you like i always have a good time and it's like it's just nice I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I, I don't mean, know. Like, maybe maybe it is time for a switch up, but yeah, it's. it's I mean, yeah, and you, and you don't really have like limitations, right? Yeah, that's you, that's. You, well, my my limitation would be wherever I get work, right? Yeah, yeah. Because it's just like like I'm locked into the Winchester right now, right? And then, but that ends like at the thirtieth, and then after that, I'm just gonna be like, okay, and I, I've already oh I've already started like looking for a. For you know something more, more, more part time. It's gonna give me more money. Yeah. But um, I don't yeah, know. I mean, like maybe. Ma maybe. Save money and you come down there and spend a little bit. Yeah. That was one thing. I was like, okay, well, if mom and dad like do end up getting the apartment and everything, like, like I'll just drive down there with them with whatever they need help with and getting everything up and going. But I, then it's like you're gonna be there, so it's like. I didn't, I didn't even get a wake up call this morning to help set up the the yard sale. Ray's all I got. I knocked on the element. He, he said he says he knocked on the element twice to get me up. Hades would have woken up and barked, didn't bro. Even bark. Didn't even bark. Didn't bark. Didn't try to bite me. Nothing. Freaking crazy. Didn't try to bite me. Well, he couldn't bite you. He was inside the car, but. You got an air blower, Hades will try to bite you, apparently. I didn't have an air blower yesterday. Didn't you? you were blowing air and he bit you. But, yeah, if you're going to talk about the differences, I mean, you know, overall they have the same type of bars, they have the same type of. I feel like people are nicer down there, too. I don't know if it's just, it is what it is. It's, or whatever, be but it's Beach City. That's that's the chilled. thing. It was like, super chilled out there. Like, people people here in San Jose are, are rude to you, right? Yeah. Okay. That's the what? The air recorder. It's upstairs. What were we talking? Oh yeah, big we're city. Just, so yeah, we're just talking about like, like just in pe general, people. Right? People in general, though. What are you gonna blow up? I honestly feel like uh, the pizza and the ball. I feel like the people here are a lot ruder. But then it's like you go yeah. to sure a beach to LA, city, yeah, yeah. and it's just like. Okay, like everybody's more relaxed because and honestly I think it is because you got the waves the sunshine like you get a different like breed of people, right? So I, I feel like that plays into it, too Ooh, ow, Itchy ow. Uh, How's my haircut looking? Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. There you go <laughs> I'm I'm editing all that out, so like you don't need to bring it up right now because you're ma you're making it more editing right now than it's gotta it's be. It's okay, but that's okay. <laughs> you mean that's the cool thing about this continual filming, right? Is that like you should keep that in there? You know what I mean? Because that's you're wrong. dick. Oh, we can't keep that in there. Thank we you. We edit out. Uh, you call yourself my son. Let's 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 unpackage that. Why why do you don't want me to call yourself myself your son? <laughs> <laughs> uh, she's tough. Oh, man.
man. I mean, it's tough, you know? Yeah, it can be. And it's like, you know, we're like right on front of a busy street trying to sell all this shit and cars driving by, chargers just, you know, I'm like, okay, talk a little louder. Absolutely. <laughs> um, yeah. All right. So there's there's our first talking. Back to come back for the after. No, no. Here he drove by. He yelled us. Oh, did he? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to get a. Ooh, yeah, get that unibrow. He said yep. tennis shoes. <clears throat> I'm on one of them beads. About so tennis. you've been working with uh, Dave's Lock Service yeah. for how long now? Over eight years? Over eight years wow, that is crazy. I move on. So what's stopping you from starting up doing a barber shop and everything? Because I I know you still remember what we talked about like Access. a year ago where you Access. were like free haircut. Uh friggin' talking about doing a I detail think. shop and also a haircut place. I think uh so you get haircuts and get your car detailed. Yeah, but somebody actually opened something like in Texas. That's called that's called. Oh, uh, it's it's called like form? something. I I haven't yeah. given anybody a car. Did you get far? You got twenty. It was the dude that bought all the shoes yesterday. Oh really? Yeah, he came back. He bought a couple other things too. Nice. Yeah, so somebody actually opened something like that in Texas. Really? Yep. Yeah, it's a it's a haircut place, mm -hmm. barber shop, and it's an auto detail place. No freaking way. I mean, dude, think like you fucking pull up on a Friday, right? Okay. You pull up on a fucking Friday. See the right way. Pull up on a Friday. You go to get a fresh cut. You also go and get your car clean inside outside real quick. I mean, like, dude, like you're gonna roll out anywhere. You're gonna feel super fresh. You're gonna look super fresh. Cars gonna be clean. You're gonna be clean. It's just, a, it's just a way to go, you know what I mean? If you care about that type of stuff, right? Like a lot of people, some people don't, you know, but a lot of people do. They want to look good. They want to feel good. And yeah, I think and it's I, I super feel, important. I, I feel like when, when you brought that up, like to me it clicked because I was just like, man, that's such a good idea. Like on the weekends, you guys would fucking be popping, you know? So it's like, what's, I mean, what's the worst part about, what's the worst part about, going to get your haircut waiting right yeah I mean, what's the worst part about going to get your car car detailed you're waiting for stuff right so if you could do both of them at the same time and then you're not waiting for one or the other because most of the time usually on fridays i would always take my car to the classic car wash that's just gonna be clean no matter what for the weekend yeah. no matter what you know are you keeping this long uh you can, or you, all can even? you can trim me up trim yeah. me up yeah like i, I think it's I remember you would freaking always, like every week you would go get your haircut touched up at one point. Oh, oh dude, like, yeah, when like, I had hair, when it wasn't bald like this, yeah, I would go, I would go every week, thank God, thank, thank God for Rose and Mount Pleasant Barbershop, I would go there every week, and I would go and get my hair cut. Why? Because you want to look good, like there's, I'm in a long-term relationship, but I had a, a job where you at least you wanted to look good, right? Like, yeah. We're, working, at, working at the hotel was like you should want to look good no matter had, what you had to be looking good i mean i remember like that was that was back before i decided to like grow out my hair and everything and i was just like they wanted me clean shaved and then finally like they loosened up about like the beards and like you could have it like out a little bit and then like i started regrowing out my beard and like i kept it nice short trim like yeah clean cut you know and uh, yeah, but I, I definitely prefer having a longer beard. Well, I'm changing that right now. No, fuck it, please. Not like this. I don't need a major life change coming in the form of my beard getting shaved. Yeah, but I think, you know, that was, that was something that I wanted to do, but you know, like I'm happy and I'm comfortable where I'm at. And, yeah. Uh, career and stuff like that and everything that Dave's Lock does for me, you know? Yeah. That, I'm chilling, you know what I mean? Why right. am I going to do the added stress? Like, I got, you know, a baby already, so it's a kid already. It's like, I don't need, yeah. I don't need to be working fucking. True, true. But maybe in the future, I'd be hella down. Yeah. You know what I mean? When I'm like older, older. Right. Just to be like, oh, I, you know, I tried to do something like that, but I feel like I feel like the more 
feel like, I don't know, people are going to catch on to that shit, but it's also probably going to be super expensive to open up something like that well, in this type of area where people care about how they look. Yeah, yeah. Think true. of a warehouse that you have to have fucking a place for barbers to sit, and also a space for them to wash your car and take care of it. Yeah, you're going to need a big area, a big lot size. Big warehouse. It's either like, you're going to be able to pull in a car and get it, but then it's going to be loud. In there maybe while vacuums are going. Two separate rooms, you know? Yeah, that's true. Barbershops are sometimes popping, you know what I mean? Yeah. Depending on the vibe of the barbershop, right? You could you could have some loud music going, you know what I mean? Oh yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, I don't I just always thought that that was funny because you're like, Oh yeah, I'm going into business for myself and I was just like, I love that. I was like, that's fucking lit. That would be super cool, but also a lot of money, you know? Yeah. Well, investors, you know, people invest in you. Yeah. That's that's the crazy thing, like, from doing this whole, like, YouTube thing and, like, having people, like, watch and everything, the one thing that I've learned is, is people want to see you succeed. That's true, yeah. Like, there's people out there, you know, that are just, like, they want the best for you and they, even if they're, even if they don't, like, know you know you, they're, they're still there and they want to see you, like, just succeed, like, most of the stuff like that I've gotten for the element lately has been from subscribers, which is crazy. So yeah. like, thank you for that guy. <laughs> you know, it's just like I don't know. It's it's just really cool to see that. So I know I and you're we're both charismatic, right? Like we both we both got the gift of gab, so it's really easy for us to talk to people. Yeah. And we could just like I'm sure if you took a week to like fully lay out your plan and just be like yeah, and then you go pitch it to somebody. I think the other thing too is right, like they make it super, or not? They don't make it difficult to become a barber, right? But there's also a lot of hate on barbers, right? Like you True. go on a regular barber's Instagram page, people are blaming them you, in the you, comments. You get right? blamed like, bad. One you're one like, hair. You call that a fade, bro? Yeah. Like, your shit's whack. It's like, bro, like I didn't go to school for this shit. Like I just did it. So I just learned how to cut hair because. I know, first of all, it's ex it's expensive. I haven't right? even brushed my hair yet, bro. I haven't even brushed my hair, and I'm looking good already. People are going to hate on it, though, you know what I mean? No matter what. But I think, you know, cutting hair is expensive, not in the act of, like, actually going, but in the act of upkeep, right? Yeah. It's, most people go get their hair cut, what, once, twice a month, right? True. But it's like, I don't know, man. If you're not going every week, you ain't going to look good. <laughs> I, shave, I shave my head like every two days. Really? Yeah, I don't want to have stubble. It looks ridiculous. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you shouldn't have... I'm sure... It, in my opinion, your hair shouldn't be grown out more than a week. I don't think it looks good at that point. Unless you're growing your hair out. Yeah. Jeez, that took forever to freaking blow up. God. Yeah, I don't even know. Our, any, our whole second. Any of that recorded. Dude, this is this is why I need freaking mics. Oh, the little like phones. I I I put some Pizza. I put some mics on my wish list. Uh, hair. Talking talking while getting a haircut. Slice of pepperoni. Bad idea. So yeah. But so, um yeah I mean. But I mean dude that's the other thing too is like you want that you mean like auto detailing you mean think of how many people out there doing it right they do yeah the mobile detailing you got mobile so detailing that. yeah yeah they do all that stuff you know what i mean so it's like that already makes it easier you know so like opening up a place where you got to convince people what why did i try to do a podcast this today record, bro just record it just record, just record it yeah just record dad going up the bar oh we should do some like the jackass stuff where yeah, he's next. Oh man. You know, just a just a good old Banyalis podcast here. Yeah. <laughs> I think, you know, there's a lot of things that, like, I thought about when I was like, oh, man, like, maybe I want to do that. You yeah. know, that I thought, like, oh, probably not, right? Like, right. Because there's mobile barbers. Like, dude, I work at a lot of apartment yeah. complexes. More mobile barbers will pull up in a fucking Mercedes Sprinter. And they'll, real. And they'll fade your shit up real nice. Is it dumbass expensive? It is. But that's the type of people that you're looking for. They want you to come to them. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. they don't want to go nowhere, right? You know, but... 
then they got their mobile detailers coming they got the mobile haircut coming you know what i mean and stuff like that would it hurts the business it hurts the business plan that i was thinking of right yeah you yeah I mean? it's almost like you gotta do a mobile but like also mobile, like that that's that's the that's thing like stuff, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's, it's have money to do that i was talking to the barber <clears throat> it was like 160 a cut for a thing really wow gas trip charge this that yeah true money. yeah yeah you got it I uh, gas gas is always a big one right there no matter what. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean it's stuff like that that does make it more personable where it's just like like I do want this service or like yeah. like if you have that money and you're willing to pay for it, like it makes it worth it, right? Yeah. I think also location is everything and location makes everything expensive, right? Yeah, true. You know I mean it's like talking about like you know what I mean Northern Cali, Southern Cal, like yeah. Back to it's it. expensive up here it's expensive down there but overall like you're paying for your location right like you want to be where you can make hella money out here in the bay area right because that's what it is out here there's hella money to be made yeah if you're working right or do you want to be somewhere that's a little bit more chill you know minimum wages are all different out there you know everything is different so. yeah true true but you know location would stop would halt would stop that that idea right in the tracks right you need to be somewhere that's you need to be somewhere that's perfect for for you to open up a place like that yeah yeah and and you to spend bank on just your location on betting that you know, it's almost like you'd have to build your clientele first you'd almost have to start mobile your mobile barber mobile this mobile that right and you then have have you and a friend you like you be the mobile barber and then your friend be the detailer and then go out get That's everybody and then yeah. get get us get a place and be like hey guys like you know, we're starting out here, and then. But then think the people that got spoiled by the mobile stuff may not want to. May not want to come in, yeah. And then it's, you built a clientele that was only wanting mobile stuff. Right? That's true too. And then you Man. just stay mobile, but then it's like I don't know. Yeah, that's, that's just a lot of stuff. That is rough to, to think, think about. about. Yeah. Man, yeah, that's pretty, pretty crazy. <laughs> yeah, once once you start thinking about it and getting into like the nitty gritty of it, because it's like, like that is true. Like there, I know that there's some people that like don't even go to barber shops anymore they're just like nah i just i have my guy Why? coming I mean, to me think of all the famous people that don't that don't do that stuff i mean bro they yeah. got nail techs that pull up to your house yeah you know I mean? like, that's that's crazy too and i think who started all the mobile stuff was the massage people right you think so well think back in back i mean you'd have somebody come to your house and give you a massage right like a normal massage what about pizza no i'm okay thank Ooh. you though i'm good i'm vegan but vegan pizza there's pepperoni on that you mean, pizza. But That's not pepperoni. They started it, and people saw how much he, they saw the the, the uh, supply and demand for that, right? Of like people wanting more mobile <clears throat> massages, right? And then people were like, "Dude, they're doing that. Like, I could go mobile and I could cut somebody's hair out." Dude. But but then it. also like Grubhub came in and like DoorDash and oh, like shit, made everything more that. mobile. So yeah, I Judy I feel like it just out. I feel like it just came to be like hey, Judy's bringing more you of a more of a system where everything's brought to you where you nobody wants to leave that nobody wants yeah especially lazy especially it. after the pat yeah I've, I've noticed that there's people who will just be like oh yeah it's it's a it's a charge to you know get DoorDash brought to me but I'd much rather prefer that than going out I'm like bro you're DoorDashing McDonald's it's like two blocks from you just go get it yeah, we, like, I mean, dude, and don't get me wrong, we used to door, me and Angie used to door dash a yeah. shit ton, but dude, that shit. Well, me and me and ex wife did too, but it's just like, that, shit eats that stuff eats, account. dude, I'd be like, where's our money? Like, where, where did our money go? And she's like, oh, I had to get lunch. I'm like, okay. I'm like, I just, I drove to Subway, like, Subway's right around the corner from work. <laughs> that, that, that was the one thing that I never got. I was just like, just go get it. Like especially where we lived at the time like everything was right around us so i was just like it didn't make sense for us for it to be like oh like why are we why are we door dashing and everything hi judy hi this is for the <coughs> grand grandbaby oh, oh what, what? axel your, got a your, gift your son yes Not the... for me nice Ooh, I'm feeling that that's nice. That's the other reason why I wouldn't want to be a barber is because I feel like I take hella days because I want it to look nice, right? Yeah. And then it's like, 
I never feel done, I guess. I don't know. I like look at it and I'm like, oh man, I could blend that line better, right? Right. And it stresses me out. It not stresses me out, right? I don't really get stressed, but I'm like, okay, like, I want you to look better. Freeze right there, Jeremy. Drop that box. Yeah. Drop yeah, that yeah. box. And so I'd be like, I'd be like, man, I could blend that line a little bit better, you know? Right. Well, so everybody down in the comments, just be like super critical of my brother's haircut then, I guess, so. <laughs> Oh, I was going to say that. <laughs> no, say it. Wait, say wait, it. I was going to say, I killed myself. I killed Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, that like, look at him. You, you, the best thing is you, you could always off yourself in Minecraft, so that's that's okay. You're going to have to blurt that out, right? Nah, nah, nah. Okay. Yeah, YouTube will take your money. Nah, YouTube not. YouTube goes and takes the money you, you could do whatever you want in Minecraft. You could, you could illegally speed in Minecraft. You could... You could kill people in Minecraft. I mobs. think the most important part of a haircut is the back as well, because guess what? The person can't see the back of their head. Um, that's true. So I think it's the most important because I, I can't see somebody's gonna look right at the now. back of your head and be like, "Damn, who the hell cut your hair?" You know what I mean? The sides could look good and all that stuff, but the back looks bad. Come on, man. Yeah. Do better. Do better. Chopper, get in the chopper. I don't know, as somebody who likes, who enjoys cutting hair, like, for free, you know what I mean? I'd be looking at the back of people's heads, and I'm like, damn, dude, like, they didn't even try, you know? Like, why, why'd they give up on the back? Why'd they give up on the back? Damn. I'm not gonna lie, this, like, the ending part that you always do is, like, the most relaxing. It's just like, I'm like, I don't know what's happening, but it feels super good. I'm just like, okay. You're just getting, like, the rest of that line going, you know? Yeah. But it's pretty much gone now. Nice. But I don't know. Flame uh, me in the comments. Flame me. In, well, we'll 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 give you the camera just so you could do a circle around my head. We'll let we'll let you walk let's around. See. You you want to do it right now? Yeah, sure. Let's oh, see. here you go. Let me let me adjust the stick. There you go. Oh, okay. let's see. Mm -hmm. You know, and it doesn't look like a fade because your hair is like I don't know, man. Your hair is like pretty thin, right? But like I feel like. Like uh, uh, Jordan's hair, like you could tell, like you know, there's like a thick line back there. Yeah. You know. Yeah. But <clears throat> nice. Anyways, we'll see. We'll see how Hope it looks. I'm trusting that it looks good. I'm hope I'm hoping that it's clean. So. Let's see. Let me put my glasses on so I can see what's happening here. Usually, I I mean, I've messed up on plenty of plenty of haircuts you know what i mean i've told you and i've messed up on yours and i'm like dude i, I messed up yeah. i biffed it we got to shave the sides I, I, you know i biffed it I you know just got biffed out here i messed it up we got to shave the sides <clears> you know and then you go but mm. you know, I was thinking, I was nice <clears throat> definitely prettier now than before oh 100 I stand when i watch your videos 100 your like super dude on the side. it was like, killing me the other day because like on this side i had like a cow lick you know, where you got the hair, and like, I was recording myself, and I was just like, look, back on the freaking bike, dude. Back on the freaking bike. Tell him, Hades, get off the bike, dummy. This guy, freaking, always messing. Don't flip over, huh? Don't break another rib. God. All right, now with all that out of the way. Jesus Christ. How did you get anything done You know, I, it's, it's been crazy, because I've been like, helping him helping them with stuff lately like since ray's been off doing what are the gallivanting I, there's no stopping him he just does whatever he wants you could tell him one thing and he he just won't listen he just does whatever he fucking does whatever he does so now i would love to shave this hair right here and make you bald uh, make me just bald like me jeez let me tell you what no one will ever care about your hair more than a bald barber because guess what i don't have hair and i used to have hair and i loved it no one will care more about your hair than a bald barber it's it's so weird because it's like like i don't you know me i've never had you had long hair before i did yeah but then like what i think we were in in mexico Positive. and i might have a buyer yeah oh Oh, yeah, somebody right. just see, somebody just pulled up. Yeah, we don't, we don't, you know, we don't want mom talking to him right now. You know, she's yeah, she, early. She's yeah, so, it's too early. I mean, mom mom went out here with the with the fire. You better not be pulling up for a haircut either, because I don't be cutting no randoms. Hey, twenty bucks a cut. 
20 bucks. <laughs> fade on, fade or taper fade. only. That's fade it. That's all I know how to do. Oh, I don't yeah, do no scissor cuts. I think I don't he's do looking through his wallet. He's, he's, he's checking to make sure he's got money. That's that's cool. Um, but yeah, like I think it was when we uh, when we went Cabo. to Mexico, yeah, to Cabo for your uh, for your bachelor party, and Jordan, Eric's like best friend, longtime best friend, like soulmate, friggin'. Um, he he had this yeah. he, this cut shaved on the side and hair up top and I was just like I want to fucking do that and then from that moment on I just started growing my hair like that and then it was before all the f boy stuff yeah yeah before like all the fuck boy shit yeah yeah I mean it was just and, and then uh um, then that stuff came out and then I shaved Jordan's head for my birthday <laughs> yeah <laughs> and like, um. Right there. Yeah, and then I think it was like after the divorce, New Year's, I shaved everything. I shaved That's right. my face, I shaved my head. I was like completely bald, com like everywhere. And uh, yeah, freaking after that, I was like, okay, I'm going to grow this out and I'm not going to cut anything again. But I don't know. It's New Year coming up and what? I don't know. Who knows? Maybe Maybe I'll start all over again. Or no, I think just let it let it ride. You, you know? know what's funny? Like whenever I do live streams, I've been thinking of like making a dono go for like if you because I've had somebody do, like donate a hundred dollars to me before, right? And I was like, oh, dude, what if I set a hundred dollar donation goal to like shave like my head or my beard like on live? Like you donate a hundred bucks, I'll shave it right there. I'll I'll be like this, dude. Oh man, I don't know, dude. I can't. <coughs> Maybe the beard, not the hair, because you know what? Your the, hair is thinning. My hair is thinning, but I mean, your it, maybe it is. And guess what? I mean, I, I look, look, I pull out maybe just a little wrong. bit of hair each time, but I, I run my hands through my hair and a little bit comes you out. See, it's each still time. there, you know. You see your yeah, your hairlines are receding. <coughs> right? Yeah, but it's still there, and I think. Hold on, I wish I held on to mine. Hold on to it. Yeah, I wish I would hold it. I, 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 that's I like thing, being like, bald though. It's nice and smooth. Like, you know, just... uh, I'm a big guy. If I can't, if I, and like you, you look good bald. Like I know I look good bald too. It, it doesn't really bother me too much. What do they, what do they say? It's like a, the, it's a, um, what is it like? Your, it's basic. It's a basic look. I'm a, I'm a bald dude with a beard. Yeah. Basic. Yeah. As basic uh, as it could get. There's four thousand of us in San Jose alone. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Uh, um, oh, so how my dad was blowing up uh, all the inflatables was you guys already know, but I mean, look, she's she's just up and running. It's like basically it's constant. It's constantly on. Like I think I'm charging up a Jackery right now. What is that thing? Well, this is an inverter, so I have a whole battery underneath underneath the trunk or where my wheel used to be okay. and it's hooked up to the solar panel oh that's in the back and then so i'm constantly getting power to this i haven't had this thing drop in power since i've put it in and i've just kind of been letting it run like non-stop yo what up man <laughs> <laughs> you well you got some pokemon cards <laughs> all right so now we got ray up in the chair um this podcast ain't done yet though guys so we still got some questions uh eric hypotheticals yeah. you're you're one of the best people with hi have, hypotheticals are yeah well i just want to know what was the hypothetical the other day I we know no, it's, how it's, much you would pay how much how no, much what, somebody our, could pay you to cut off one of your fingers how much? What's the lowest amount? I got three hundred dollars. Let me cut off your pinky on Hell your left no. hand. Three hundred. Left hand. You don't no. even use your left hand that much. Yeah, Look I at do. the That's baby. He's Christmas. <laughs> He's Christmas. <laughs> you stop. But I like I like those type of hypotheticals. Like yeah. You know what I mean? Like I want to know how much you'd sell a body part for. Uh, and I don't so know why. and it's like you have to think if what would you pay. Or what? How much money would somebody have to give you to cut off a pinky? Comment down below. Like, yeah, your com left, your, if you're right-handed, your left-hand pinky. 
How much? How yeah, much, whatever your whatever your non dominant hand pinky is. Somebody came up to you with four thousand dollars in local anesthesia. And, oh, lo and local anesthesia? Local. Oh, bro. Hey, for four K, take that pinky. That th I don't. I don't now need it. Now, what about now? What about thumb? A thumb? Oh, no, no, no. Thumb no, on no, your no. right hand. I mean, your left oh, hand. Oh, my. No, because no I, you, I still, no. You're going to have to give me a lot for a thumb. That's what separates us. Okay. So, yeah. So, no more toys. So what, no more so what's toys. A what's a lot for a thumb, Herm? I mean, you have to think. You do so much with okay, your what's thumbs. what's a lot? I don't care. I don't want to go through it. Yeah, I but. I, this is my hypothetical. I, I know. You. I'm just walking myself through it, right? I'll give you 14,000 cash. No, three. nope. For what? Left for, for a thumb? 14, left 14, thumb. 14 14K, 14K is not enough for a left thumb. Yeah. It'd be 100. Yeah, may, 100K? May, maybe 150. 100K? Because like you're not gonna, have, you're not gonna be dude, able to tie your shoes anyway. My 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 thing is, I I'm gonna try to make like I'm gonna yeah, go somewhere where they can make nowhere. me a fake thumb, right? Where I could yeah. strap on a fucking robot thumb. Well, that's why I need to. That's why I need to make sure that I need to get enough from you to fund okay, for my so, robotic so thumb. You're talking, Dad. You're saying 100k. Somebody walks up 100k and hands you a, a butcher's block and a butcher's knife. I have to cut it oh, off. Oh, you got to cut it off yourself? The guy doesn't oh. want to do it. He just wants your thumb. Oh, he finish. just wants your thumb? Oh, man. Bro, gotta you got to cut it yourself? That's going to be more. That's a man. I I, I, now okay. I, wait, a so with the pink, here. wait, with the pinky, you, you're you yeah. cutting off your own pinky? Yes, we're with actually selling some some dykes over there that will cut that thing off real quick. Oh, my God. Oh, that's so true. We do got, we got some clippers right there that we're selling. Oh, look at yeah, mom yeah. with the baby. Yeah, you gotta cut it off. You gotta cut it off, dude. You do the labor, that's more. So what? He just local anesthetics you, and then you're just yeah, you're just down he's an to cut. He's he, he's an a, he, and he just he goes around collecting fingers. Well, no, I'm talking. He'll collect everything for a price. For know? oh, he'll collect anything what for about, a price. You have to give me a so how much for your thumb? We we gotta. We yeah, gotta I, I I would probably have to say like two hundred. Too much. I'm two, not gonna do it. I'm you're not you're not gonna do it. That's fine. Then you you're want, not you're not collecting you the thumb. Foot? I, I want your thumb. I want, you want your thumb foot? for for forty five k, and I, I'll cut it off. Hey, I it's need a hundred. I need a hundred. Yeah, it's a thumb. I'm with what without this thumb. I'm not gonna. hundred k. I want to. I want to cut your you your right ankle off, like your right foot off. Oh my at god! Ankle. At the ankle? That's brutal. For a hundred, if I need oh, it. Oh, I'll do a hundred and fifty for your right foot above the ankle. A hundred and fifty right foot above the I'd ankle. I do it if I really needed it. If I really, really needed, yeah, know. like, like I'm, oh, I'm the guy with the thing. I'm fine with giving some pinkies. Oh, dude, someone come out and overbid you, dude. I'm fine with giving some pinkies. <laughs> Yo, he's wearing Philly outfit. <laughs> Philly outfit. Oh shit, <laughs> all bad. Oh, nice. Uh, there, well, there's also Getting the glass uh, cabinets. Right Hell yeah. <laughs> hey, you calm down. All right, so we we are covering that hype. Let, let, let's get into something else. Let's get into something that we haven't done before, though, because we we've, we talked about that one last time you were here. I think you know <clears throat> all my main hypotheticals are for are money related. Well, yeah, money money related hey, ones hey, are fine. Uh, money related. How, how much do I have to pay you so I could run you over with a car? Whoa! Whoa! Yeah, here's a wheel. Will it fit on the chair? <clears throat> oh, that. I don't know. I don't know if that wheel will fit on the chair, but. What what type oh, of car? Yeah, what what type what type of car? Are you talking a Hummer? Are you talking a 1989 Honda? Oh, you want a Honda Pilot? Yeah. You want you want to reenact the run guy who ran you over, but you, you want to run much? over. How much? Yeah, how much to run you over? I can't guarantee you're gonna live either. <clears throat> oh yeah. no, I can't do any type of money. I would, I do body mutilation, but I can't, if I'm not guaranteed to live, then I don't want it. Nothing could pay me. No, that, nothing is worth, well, worth the life. Is this for screen? Yeah. <laughs> Man. Yeah. If, if you, you, there's no guarantee. If there's no guarantee there's that you're going to survive, survive, like, yeah. Like, I, I don't, I don't know if I could put a price on that. Like, I need, I need well, to know. Well, guaranteed loss of life when you ran me over. Well, no, I understand. Cause then, cause then I'm gonna need like the money up up front and like a month to go spend it all, right? Cause like and then come at, run and you then over. come run me over, just like at random, like at oh, 
Like oh, that's. You don't know when it's coming. <laughs> you don't know when it's coming. Don't like that. Don't you already got your money. You're gar coming. you're guaranteed a month head start. Cause I'm going to Vegas and I'm staying in Vegas. So I'm doing. Like week, I'm doing. doing that was me. Wait, I would much? go to Vegas and I'd die there. Yeah. Run me. Got, run me over up. in Vegas before yeah. the month was up. But then what if what if you killed yourself before the month was up and then they got to kill your whole family because you signed a contract? Nah, I'm dead already. I don't. Yeah, I'm, I'm. I don't have. Yeah, I don't have kids else, or anything, so I'm fine with that. Huh. <laughs> Manchester. Manchester. Twenty bucks. Twenty bucks, man. What? <laughs> no, no, but you take the you take that bad boy anywhere. If you want the table with it, another five bucks, bro. Twenty five. That's all. That's all you. Yeah. How, how much? How much you want it for, bro? We got a bouncy ball. Or a marble, a decent sized marble. Yeah. I'll come back. What time are you guys going to be out here till later? I think till like at least like You'd be out here till late for yeah. sure. Yeah. I'll be right here. Yeah. I can't, man. Right oh, you're you're down by the corner? Yeah, I live right there. Nice. Oh, sweet. Okay, yeah. Nice, dude. Heck yeah. We'll see ya. <laughs> Damn. That'd be crazy, though. Just random, random run, come run you over. That's yeah, that's kind of scary. You have no room to put it it's a small one. We can find a place. What are you talking about? I love I love how Eric and Ray got the same cut though. No, I I bick it. Just oh, you bick it. Yeah, this is as close as you can get. Well, yeah, it's it's crazy because like your hair you like recede line, right? yeah, is, right here is like in the same area. I wonder I if that. mine's gonna Whenever pull I that far. Whenever I see people back. with scars on their head, I stay away from them. Why? I mean, they, because they've had their Russian? brain to open up. Nah. Yeah. Nah. That's that's, okay. that's, that's not normal. Well, that's one the, uh, one year of uh, tanning in in L.A. in Huntington Beach, that that's gonna be gone. Oh, good. Yeah, like one year of tanning on the, the beach. With stitches marks. Yeah, oh, no, yeah. Oh, yeah. Man. Look out. <laughs> They're not all there. So, uh, if, if you guys do end up going down to Huntington, what's uh, what's your first thing you want to do, Ray? Like, beach. once once you're all settled in, what's what's your goal? I'm just going to be at the beach 24-7. I know, right? And, uh, if I could, if I could, if I could go to the beach every day and, and do something there, yeah. You know, meet somebody who has one of those little tent things. You little, know, little tent, tent things. things that they sell stuff. Oh yeah. Yeah, you need days off. I'll, I'll cover your tent for you, dude. Why not just make your own tent? Of what? I, mom's shit. I don't know. Mom's always making yeah, a whole bunch of help. crap. Well, I don't. Know, you could and you could talk uh, Huntington <coughs> Beach downtown Huntington Beach, right across where the pier is. Right. They do that. They do yeah, the arts and crafts every thing. Saturday, Sunday. Yeah. You know what I mean? From oh, every, Saturday. every Saturday, Sunday. Well, it's okay. You don't I have. You don't have to I, go I, every I Saturday, already, Sunday. So I could you could just go whenever you want. Working the, at the at Mom's Club. Yeah. And then you're at the beach the whole day. Yeah. yeah. You're ten feet from the sand. Exactly. That's not too shabby at all. All right. Yeah, I would love to just do Your something. Or, or actually, something with maybe uh, cleaning the beach or keeping the keeping the beach clean and stuff. Yeah. 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 Something like that. Then. Go do that at Santa Cruz. They need that. They no, need that they help. Can't, they can't pay somebody enough <laughs> to do that. There's, there's so much to, <laughs> beyond. Yeah, that 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 one's kind of lightweight. Be, be it's beyond repair. Beyond there. repair. Yeah. The one over there is it's already clean, so yeah, true. You're just maintaining it. <laughs> I like I like the sign they got everything a dollar. It doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> the G the G is down there. And, oh, and God. I didn't put the dollar sign in the front. So that's, I put it after the one. That's too funny. Oh man. Are you uh, done? No, I, I he's on the phone right now. <clears throat> Oh, Angie's here. Hi, 
Angie? She left. Oh, uh, she she dipping. Where's she going? She's just checking on him to make sure that she's she really just checking here. that he's really here. Oh my god. Angie just drove by <laughs> checking to see if Eric was really here. And she just did a drive by y'all. Huh? That's too funny. There you go. You're bald. You're bald. Hey, you did it. Hey, hey Mary, it Mary Chrysler. Mary Chrysler. What'd you, what'd you get, Jude? Ooh, look at that. Oh, nice uh, sign. Some of the letters you know are missing. has it has it right now. It only now. got an H, I, T, A. Everybody look at his account the after this. Vic they Blends. Vic I love blends. that guy. Yeah, he's a he's a barber and he goes and he cuts people's hair for free just to just yeah, to chat goes with them. Around to Oh, yes. Wait, yeah, I've I've, I've I've seen that guy yeah, on TikTok yeah. before. I love that yeah, guy. yeah. I love that guy because he he, he just wants to know your story and stuff. Yes. Yeah, What's your story? like What's that's your story? such. If if I could oh. cut, if you could teach me how to cut hair, I could turn that into into content too. I'll be walking around and be like, "Hey, man, you need a fresh cut." Tell I me, go sit down, just sit direct. down, tell me your story. Yeah, just talk to me, you know what I mean? Yeah. Which is cool, I mean, I, I like to watch his stuff. True. I like to watch his videos, maybe mainly because he cuts really good hair also, and also he's got, he just likes to hear people talk, you know? Yeah. Yeah, you're dust, dust, dust him man. off, yeah, dust him off. You're, you're cutting homeless men's hair, <laughs> old homeless guy. Well, he's cutting old guy hair and homeless hair. <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> yeah, I think, uh, I think that's, I mean, yeah, you need a blower. Oh, yeah, uh, I could, I, if I, I cut I, hair, I could go over to Huntington Beach and cut hair right there. Yeah. At the beach. So I, almo I almost yeah, forgot yeah, that I have work today. I, I almost you forgot. Today? Yeah, I got, I, st I start at like five. Oh, yeah. four hours. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, go. yeah. Gotta keep damn. feeding, the, feeding Uncle think... Sam. Yeah, pretty yeah, much. Gotta get here to do it. Uncle Sam got to get his somehow. We're not yeah. getting many people. No, uh, it's, it's kind of slow. It's a slow. I mean, last time? yesterday, I mean, yeah. yesterday we had more people than this. Yeah. And last time, and remember? We Dude, were, and, well, and there's like, less like, stuff. Like, that's station. that's the other thing. It's less stuff. Still, as you, but, we all spotted her. She ain't getting over on her. All right, guys. Well, <laughs> it was definitely a very interesting video. I thought I'd try something new, a longer form thing. Um, I think we're going to call it right there because it's just like everything keeps getting a little sidetracked. But I mean, overall, hey, sometimes, sometimes things get sidetracked. Yeah, yeah, yeah so true. Thanks for uh, thanks for attempting to do something new mm. with me, bro. Yeah. I, I figured who else better to try to do like a little podcast thing with than, than you. So yeah, we tried. Yeah, yeah we definitely we try. <laughs> I don't know how much of it's going to work with Ray blowing everything oh my up. God, dude, there's probably <laughs> there's probably literally nothing that you can hear. They're gonna be like, wah, it's just gonna wah, be. Wah, wah. Wah. Yeah, Charlie Brown's that is. Let's, uh, let's go back and watch the video right now. Oh God. While we're trying to chat. I'll, 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 I'll start editing this up right now. Yeah. I do. Good. Hey, I got I got like I think they're thirty or forty dollar mics on my Amazon wish list. If anybody wants to hook it up with some with some mics, I won't put it against you. I'm gonna have to get a new uh, address soon um, because I'm not gonna be able to use my parents anytime soon. So who knows? Uh, it still might be uh, somewhere over here on the east side. I got the neighbors who are, I'm hella cool with, and other neighbors down there that I'm cool with. If not that, it might be uh, somewhere in the Campbell area. We'll see. Uh, I, I don't feel like paying for a P.O. box if I can't get Amazon and stuff shipped there. So. I don't know. I'm I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to do. And with this talk of Eric trying to get me down to uh, Huntington, I don't know. Who knows? If I end up going down there for a while, maybe we'll have packages sent down there for a little bit. Who knows? But um, thank you, guys. I hope you enjoyed whatever this is. Blog, blog cast, blog plus podcast. But... I will see you in the next video. Make sure you like and subscribe. And hey, uh, if you want to become a member, it's only 99 cents. And I also just got a notification from YouTube the other night saying that I got five free memberships that I could give away. So who knows? Uh, maybe I'll start giving some away on my lives. And I guess I'll be getting them five every month um, to give away. So. Maybe I'll give you a little taste, a little taste of membership for the background. Who knows? But uh, all right, guys, take it easy.